And it's interesting, and I don't know what the right answer is, but some people, like I would put that, the correct grip and mechanics in right away and let them go and build off of that. And then some people, I don't put it in. I let them just kind of build skills and then go back in later and do some of that if I need to. And I don't know what the right answer is to that. I think I just, it's just based on feel. I think someone at his level who has so much, like someone who's new has so much room to learn where like speed control and start line and green reading and so on and so forth where I'm not, uh, like where the club lays in their hand affects a lot with different things, but it's not like all or nothing. Like you got to learn how to do some other things like that is the approach I took with him at least. So, you know, we're at the point where he's practicing a lot, he's getting a lot better, scores are coming down a bunch, um, a lot of time on the golf course now. Um, trying to give him like just what he needs and then let him do a lot of the learning by himself. But, you know, if your grip is wrong and then your uh, path is off and your face to path is off, you have start line issues. So there's a point where, okay, I think you kind of get the skill stuff, the speed stuff is very good. Um, but hey, if we put the club this way, uh, this will help us start the ball online because of this. Um, the way you're currently doing this makes it harder, you know, whatever. Um, so we went through that and then got a little more specific with like where the ball position was and more detail oriented with him. And, and it's interesting because like I guess I mean some people I would do that day one yeah. and some people I wait. So uh, him I waited with and we're, we're kind of going through that stuff now to get a little bit more specific with it. I think I waited with him because I want him just to like putt, yeah. you know, just like get down there and get in there. Okay, I believe this was our straight uphill putt, yeah? Yeah. Let me uh, go ahead and see you hit a couple, please. No practice or practice? I'll take So when you said the aim was off, did you say more to the left or more to the right? Both. Both sides, okay. From here to there, please. Okay, and one more from here to there, please. The ball goes left or right, mm -hmm. okay, of the hole, there's a lot of variables involved. Yeah. Um, but what I'm primarily concerned with in the beginning is the start line. So mm -hmm. if it starts left or starts right. Mm -hmm. Now, are you sensing that when you're putting that's starting left or starting mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So take a setup here to this ball. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> what can, we're going to go to this hole, sorry. What controls the direction the ball starts face. is the face, exactly. Now there's a bunch of variables that control where yeah. the face is, mm -hmm. but the face is what controls it. Take a setup there. I'm going to put this little gate deal in here. So let's kind of eliminate some variables first as to if you're struggling with mm -hmm. the face control, the start line, let's eliminate some variables. One thing that controls where the putter face is, mm -hmm. is the path it goes on. Mm -hmm. Off too far inside, outside. Let's make it a little bit harder. Let me hop in there, please. Okay, that should be pretty straight. Okay. So let's go from right in there. Uh -huh. And let's knock that variable out first. Okay. Just the path. Okay, now the second part is ball position. Stay right where you're at. Do not move that muscle. Okay, so the second part is the ball position. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, if I were to kind of drop a ball down, what I'm looking for for you mm -hmm. with your ball position is to be roughly underneath your left eye, mm -hmm. okay? Which would be about right here. Mm -hmm. So that ball position is a little too far back in your stance. Okay. Okay, so let's move it a little more forward in your stance. Okay. Want to be a little, little more. Even more, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So that now, if I were... So what's a good right under my left eye? Yeah, so if we were to kind of put this in here like so... Okay. Take your putter and mm -hmm. put it right on your left toe mm -hmm. and put it the other way. Okay. So that probably, for you, on right. your feet with, is a good ball position. Okay. Okay, so it's not too far back. Yeah. If the ball's too far back or too far forward, mm -hmm. you hit it on a different part of the arc, the face oh, will hit a different okay. spot. That's probably okay. okay. Yeah. So let's go ahead and take a setup from there. So when you do your block station, I want you to check that as okay. part of it. Yep. So the ball position is now more neutral, mm -hmm. and this is good. Okay, now. The second part we have to talk about is where the club, or the third part, mm -hmm. okay, is where the club sits in your hands. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, based on how you're gripping it, mm -hmm. pull, kind of watch the team, pull the club up in front of you this way, kind of tabletop it. Okay, cool. So 
more or less, I'm looking for the putter, don't change anything, mm -hmm. to be on the same line as your forearms. Mm -hmm. Now, do you see how your forearms are on this kind of line and the putter's on this line? The putter's to this way mm -hmm. compared to your forearms. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. This, and it's because of how you grip it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how you're kind of, it's two in your fingers and your heel pads on top. Mm -hmm. Let me bother this for a second. If I grip it like I do a full swing, like this, yeah. my heel pad on top like here, mm -hmm. I can't have it on my forearm line. The only way I can have it on the same line is if I really unhinge my wrist and it mm -hmm. still won't be on the same, but it could be close. Mm -hmm. So when you putt, you're very like this, mm -hmm. okay? So if I grip it mm -hmm. more in my palm, yeah. so kind of through this crevice here yeah. like this, then I can have this on the same line as my forearms like this. Okay. So when you grip it this way, mm -hmm. harder to control club face, we're just gonna keep it simple. Mm -hmm. I want it more in your palm, so kind of more like this. Mm -hmm with both of your hands, so very palmy. Then we can grip it how we want, palms facing each other. Okay. Um, those are the three variables let's knock out first. Make sure the oh. pass neutral, ball position neutral, and then that face. So let's go through how to grip this, yeah? So yep. give me one of these first where you kind of put your hands like this, even remove yourself from that station. Just come on back here. Sure. So give me, give me one of these. So that's where I'd like it to sit in your hands, like uh -huh. that. So that now, when I look at it, is directly in line with your forearms. If you were, so kind of hold on to it with me. Keep that, keep it mm -hmm. quick. So now if I go like this, mm -hmm. okay, That's that right. would be in line with your forearms. Yeah. One line from your elbow all the way to the putter head. Mm -hmm. Whereas this would be out of line, mm -hmm. and that would be out of line. Mm -hmm. With me on that? One yeah. line. So let's go ahead and do it. Make one or two practice strokes with that. I'm just gonna feel kind of like you don't have control of it compared to normal. What do you feel with that compared to your normal one? Uh, I, I have to balance it more with my fingers. Okay, anything else? Mm-mm. This is it? Okay. So now, let's figure out how we're going to grip it from there. Uh, so if you were to keep it in that crevice, nope. Mm -hmm. It would have to kind of stay in like that. Uh, with me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now we can kind of put your hand on, I, can, I want your palms facing each other, so I want it to go something like this kind of deal. You can, you can play around with the fingers. Like yeah, yeah, like see, that. you want to put this kind of on top, yeah. and I want it still here, and then we can how close together or whatever we can play around with. But this gotta stay in there. So um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. With me? Yeah. And then we can play around with all this kind of fingers and stuff like that. Okay. Okay? Mm hmm So let's go ahead and make a couple practice strokes just with that grip on there. Just right there is fine. Cool. Cool. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do we'll do probably like ten of them. Okay. We could miss all these T's. Make sure our ball position is cool. We're gonna pop a couple in. Okay. Cool. The other thing too, when you're actually going to putt, okay, that's better. Is a lot of time I see you when you putt hit and then look for it with your whole body, mm -hmm. like this. Whereas when I see better putters putt, they hit, and they look at it by just their neck rotating. Okay. They don't go like this. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Like when I hit a putt, watch me. Let's say I'm going to this one. Watch, don't watch the ball, watch my head. So I'm going to hit it, and then when I come up, I'm going to look at it like this. So see how my chest and my all is still pointing yeah. this way? Mm -hmm. I just look with my head turning this way. So if I'm hitting a normal putt to that hole, watch me, not the ball. See how I look at it? Mm -hmm. Like this, mm -hmm. not no. up and out. Yeah. As soon as I come up and out, it compromises the face angle. Okay. Okay, so we got a couple things going on. We're gonna make sure our ball position's good. So okay. check that. Putter to the Let heel, actually physically do it. Nope, how's the putter supposed to be? Oh, like that. Yeah, good. So that, that looks, looks good. Yeah. Now we're gonna make sure our grip is in our palms. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit. We're gonna keep our eyes down. That's all she wrote. But I want you to be deliberate about that on each one when you're doing this in the beginning. Okay. Ball position's good, grip's good, eyes down. Okay. 